There's a new entrant in the race to represent Fresno in the nation's capital. My name is Ricardo Franco, and I am running for Congress to unseat Devin Nunes. Franco called out Nunes for not meeting with the people and his ties to the president. Because Nunes has become nothing more than Trump's rubber stamp. He has fallen into the trap of decrying fake news and refuses to hold town halls to meet with his constituents, us. In my days in the private sector, if I ever told my boss that I didn't want to work and talk to clients and customers because they might be mean to me, I would have been fired on the spot. Franco joins Fresno County Assistant District Attorney Andrew Jans as officially announced candidates for the June 2018 primary. Regarding specific issues, Franco talked about DACA, the immigration policy allowing illegal aliens brought here as children to remain and work in America. DACA recipients are not criminals. They are the people who have assimilated here the most. They speak the best English. They understand our culture the best. If we don't let these people into our country and actually receive them as being a part of the fabric of our economy that drives this country, then who actually is worthy? And Franco's water policy? I think what we really need to do is actually have a talk about comprehensive water reform in the Central Valley. The bill right now for Temperance Flat is something with all the data that I've seen, uh, I will support. I had a chance to talk with Franco to get to know him a little more. I'm 33 years old. Uh, I grew up here in the Central Valley, specifically in Northeast Fresno, and came out of Clovis West. I then went to the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania and immediately came back here to work in the Central Valley in the private sector for a uh, physical security company, security guards. Now, uh, you know, what line of business are you in right now? Uh, well, right now, I just came out of the technology sector uh, in hardware. And before that, I was in the technology sector in uh, Silicon Valley software. So you're in between jobs? Uh -huh. Right now, yes. <laughs> I've decided to devote my time actually right now to this campaign. Uh, one of the things, uh, what's been going on when I was in my last job was noticing that I couldn't focus on both at the same time. And in order to really be passionate about this, I've got to go into it a full throttle. Franco has no elected experience. Rather, his only political involvement has been as a campaign volunteer. Speaking of family, uh, do, you, do you have a family, spouse, kids, mom, dad? <laughs> I have mom and dad. I have probably uh, over 100 family members here in the area. I'm a single guy, uh, no kids of my own, two beautiful godchildren, one of which you saw tonight, my goddaughter, Gianna. All right. And finally, you know, when you're running against Devin Nunes, an establishment candidate, and, and he's a very prolific fundraiser, I mean, it's going to take hundreds and thousands of dollars. Are you prepared to raise that kind of money? It's going to take more than that. Uh, but yes, you know, the nice thing is, is that we've got a lot of people here, as you can see, as grassroots support, getting the message out now that we actually have a strong candidate in terms of actually connecting with the people and understanding where they come from. We're going to be looking to do that. Make no mistake, unfortunately, the way our political system works, that there's going to be outside money that we're probably going to have to look at, not from corporations and not from special interests. But until we pass some sort of campaign finance reform, which I would love to see, by the way, and to end Citizens United, uh, that's one of the realities. David Taub, GV Wire.